everyone and welcome. This is Melissa Arm with StockSwish.com. I just wanted to do a very quick video. It's 7.05 Eastern Time. It is way past my bedtime, as you know. Let me just look at this again. Someone mentioned this in the room today in the webinar. Something I see here. Well, Hold on, let me just see where we close. We actually closed at 3129, all right, hold on. <clears throat> I'm too tired to rate this right now, but I will in the morning because I like this gap. Here's where we closed on the day on the Tuesday of the 27th. Wow, October 27th, that's crazy. Halloween is Saturday, where is the year gone? In two months it's gonna be Christmas, do you know? that I am getting Christmas catalogs in the mail to buy Christmas stuff. It's, it's nothing sacred. <laughs> I don't know. All right, hold on, let's look at this, 3129. All right, so I'm not gonna rate this gap till tomorrow morning, but I actually like the gap. I actually think this is a short, this right now at this moment could go either way because it's so far away from tomorrow morning at 9 30 it's not even funny it's actually 14 hours and a half or 14 hours and 20 minutes so i don't know if we actually open tomorrow at 27 32. if we do i love it if it looks different this is this is right on the cusp because I don't know what it's gonna do tomorrow morning. In the morning, it could get better or worse. This is the benefit of trading with me live in the room because you could see a gap at night and you don't know what to do with it. And it could look amazing, which this does right now, but the, at the end of the day, there's no, there's no way this looks the same tomorrow morning. I can tell you right now, this, this, this stock tomorrow morning before the actual open of the market of the day in the pre-market will have enough shares that it would actually be trading like a live stock but I don't know where it is. And that I can tell you because this is a big name stock. It's a market stock, it's Twitter. Is anyone not on Twitter? <laughs> Listen, I'm about to talk to my parents if I get any on Twitter. If my parents would get on Twitter, I'd probably talk to them more. It's, it's a new age, it's the millennial age and you've gotta be on social media or you're gonna be ousted before you're even in. So at the end of the day, you've gotta be on Twitter. You have to be on these things. And Twitter is, is gapping down. I'm not, I'm not denying it, but Twitter is still a very popular company. But for tomorrow, for the gap, for the day trade, I'm gonna be getting up in the morning and rating the gap on Twitter as a short. I don't know if it's gonna be good or bad or nothing until I get up. And normally I would say, fine, go for it. But this is such a heavily traded stock that this stock tomorrow morning could look 100% different than it does right now. Better or worse. But right now, at this moment, in live time, at 7.08 p.m. Eastern Time, this, this is a great gap. So we'll see what it does tomorrow morning. Good luck, everyone. If you're in the live trading room or requested a trial, you're gonna get the call, whether I do it or not. And you'll get the best gap in the morning for sure because my name is Melissa Armo and the company I own is called The Stock Swoosh. If you're interested in a trial of the live trading room, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. If you'd like more information on the next Golden Gap class to learn how to rate gaps for the 26-point rating system, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. The next class is November 7th and 8th. Good luck, everyone, to see what happens with Twitter. In an ideal world, I really feel like the market is going to dump something into my lap tomorrow morning that's good. I kind of said that earlier today, and this might be the one but I'm open to the possibility of it being something better or this. Have a great day, everyone.